What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Tay TV. My reaction video I would be reacting to highly rumored to be pregnant. Clarence removes all photos of Queen from his Instagram. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Excuse me, and follow me on my social media below. I would really appreciate it. Let's get into this video. Times Day photos that had a lot of people in the comment section thinking that she may be pregnant. They were saying things like, pretty, but you definitely look like you have a baby bump. Someone else says, girl, are you prego? Another comment states, Hallie, all I'ma say is you better she not may be pregnant. pregnant. Hallie definitely didn't look pregnant a week ago when she was attending the Rock Nation brunch. She didn't respond to any of the pregnancy comments, but she did tweet out, best v-day ever best the comment section ever. people were saying things like hopefully not with ddg and please stop reminding us he exists other person asks how y'all dragging her because her boyfriend cheated and i hope <laughs> you didn't spend it with ddg ddg did tweet i know y'all mad that i'm actually a good n-word man i'd be hot i don't know guys huh. but this doesn't look too good for ddg i don't know if hallie's supporters will ever forgive him but you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below now i do want to move on to this next topic with queen and clarence of course yesterday was valentine's day and queen posted a message that clarence wrote her that stated even though you get me tight you deserve flowers forever a lot of people realized that clarence removed their couple's photos from his Dang. Instagram page. Well, no. I did see one there where he took a photo in the mirror and Queen was kind of turned the other way, but all of the other photos seemed as if they were removed. After Queen posted their Valentine's Day photos, people in the comment section were saying things like, why he delete all y'all pics off his page? And I unfollowed him thinking they broke up because I needed to support my sis. Another person states, I don't really like how he don't really have any pics of them on his page. I'm really not sure why these pictures were archived or deleted, but I will say they did start a couple's Instagram page. You know, a lot of times they'll decide to delete all of their couple's pictures off of their okay. personal page okay, so just so they could use that page for business. And then they post all of their couple's photos okay. on a separate Instagram account. Separate Regardless Instagram. of the reason okay. why the photos that's what were they removed, do, that's them. we know that they didn't break up. I don't think I'd be seeing these. You know what I'm saying? My boy Armand's the only one that peaked. Let me take this off. Now, back on to CJ and Royalty. Now, in today's updates, CJ and Royalty has continued to throw shade at one another. Royalty starts by posting a video where she makes a joke about the pancakes. Go, you want some pancakes? Hell yeah. yeah. Strawberries and anything else? You hungry? Hell uh, yeah. I'm about to make Rico some pancakes. You know, you already know what's up with pancakes. So. Let me cook Rico some pancakes. Oh, flat jacks. Yeah. You like them? You like them crispy? Nah. You like butter? Make them like balls, man. Oh, 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 okay. I got more. <laughs> you guys know the story behind the pancakes and how CJ told Lexi. Lexi, a whole other Lexi. Pancakes Lexi, were better. Lexi, Lexi she can cook. Lexi posted of Lexi's food, including pancakes. Then he posts... Lexi a whole upgrade, yes or no? He throws more shots at Royalty, posts his gift from Lexi and states, hopefully it's not too late to let y'all know how my baby at Living by Lexi surprised me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I've never been in a relationship where I got surprised, so this was an emotional experience. Royalty did spend her Valentine's Day in Colorado with Rico, but you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Don't 
I don't even know what they're talking about right, right now. I'm gonna skip this part. Up to date with this story, that if you watch his series, then you'll know everything that went on here. But long story short, Keisha Kaylee's book. Do you know what's growing on your loofah? Dead skin cells get trapped in the porous material. The wet environment makes it a breeding ground for bacteria, fungus, germs, and mold that can cause skin irritation and even infections. Over 300,000 men already switched to Dr. Swatch. Dr. Swatch's soap exfoliates naturally with ingredients like oatmeal, sea salt, and sand. Whoa, it's breaking up all the dead skin. Scraping away all the dirt and grime from the long dead. Get it in every boyfriend had a baby outside of their relationship with Ashley. There was a lot of mess going on and it seemed like Ashley didn't even want her son around Damn. Keisha. Now, Ashley went live and explained their current situation and it's so good to see that they were able to work things out for the kids because honestly, that's all that matters. Um, okay y'all. As far as that goes, it's just as simple as this. My son is always going to come first. That's right. When he brings up his daddy and he brings up his sisters and stuff. Like, I feel bad. Like, I sent him up with a whole iPod and everything. So, his dad can contact him whenever. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Um, but, like, it, you know, it just warms my heart when he gets on. He gets on the phone with his baby or his sisters and baby all get and stuff. Especially when he's with his sisters and stuff. Like, we went to the baby shower a couple, um, like a week or so ago. He was having the time in his life. Like, I just, you know, I just, I'm trying to just do what, as much as I could do within my part of my control. Conversations still need to be had, but that's neither here nor there. Like, at the end of the day, I just want my baby to be happy. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't like it. That's right. She's right. But it's not about what I like. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's just like, as long as my baby's happy, he comes home, he don't say nobody touched him, nobody hurt him, like his feelings ain't hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to just take it moment by moment as it happens. But what my baby wants, he going to get. Exactly. As long as he's safe and happy, that's all that matters. Now, the mom is from, from other stuff that's going on. That's when, you know, I'm going to have to speak up. But other than that, right now, everything's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really communicate with them like that. However, like, when it comes to my son, like, we say we need to be saving and keep moving. Like, it is what it is. But my main priority is my child. Um, As far as the other baby mama, I definitely feel like she know, you know, her place and stuff. But, like... This is it for this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social medias below. I greatly appreciate it. Again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.